we're going to make this uh, the entire room okay so each and everything we're going to model we don't going to import any library nothing everything we're going to model so let's start with this shelf okay uh, first of all you should know in 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 uh, 3ds max model what is your purpose of model if you know that one it is little easier if you don't know your purpose you maybe you have an animations you want to open the shelf inside the shelf i've kept it something so the scenario is different you need to make inside pro boolean you need to cut it you need to arrange inside now you're not going to open this one so you don't need to make a hole over there just you can keep a box on top of this so that's a logic you should understand unnecessary don't do many detail inside if you do more detail that much will be heavy if you're not opening if you're sure then you can leave it like this okay so so first so first things what i'm trying here making a shelf right so instead of box i'm using from extended primitives camphor box camphor box camphor box is same like box only but the edges will be i can make smooth now you can understand so i made like this then move your mouse slowly understand then do not scale this one like this you know that camphor will have a problem so you when you want to scale this one use length width and all okay take a copy how many doors three doors huh? then i want to make this width and sorry and length less now width less and i'm keeping here this adjustment you can go to top view then it will be very easy for you to fix it over there and you see the width you feel like it's more and the length i want to length and width ignore because it depends on how you arrange it and the height make little less I'll keep here you understand the corners are smooth now this corners i don't want this much this is it's too smooth right so fill it i can reduce it fill it i took a copy see i'm doing from there only everything so i don't need to draw again and from here the width is less the height is less the length is less top view height fill it take a copy of this here or you can do one thing select this both take a mirror if you want other side copy okay and this two take one more copy see this width may have a problem if there is a problem you can increase the width but when i am increasing this width what happen width what happen So this side I have a problem right so this one if i don't want to do any more divisions over here and all i convert this one to editable poly so what is the benefit i can go inside this vertex and go to top view from the top view i can select this vertex and move it to here perfect okay but if you convert editable poly then i cannot go back and adjust the length and width now we need to adjust like this manually uh, first job this we have Done. Similar color, which is not exactly same. Of course, we give material, but just to get an ambient. Okay. 
uh, shelf is ready. It's very easy, right? I think the top also, there is a separate piece over there. Yeah, actually, this is inside, okay? That's the reason it comes like that. There's an extension here coming to outside. What it is happened, see, these portions are a little bit inside. Extrude it, little inside this, okay? So this in, uh, doors we can little inside. And we got vertex. Keep down. Okay. Then we want to make this shell, for example, right? So standard. I'm making again a box. You see some difference I'm doing. Okay, same height. So go to front view, same height. And you see how many divisions over here. I'm just constant focus on here only. This one we can add it extra. So of course I want to mix less, almost here. How many divisions? One, two, three, four, five columns here, right? Five columns. So what I'm trying from here itself, sorry, sorry, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, okay? One, two, three, four, okay? One, two, three, four. And fifth one is bigger, right? So convert editable poly. Select this vertex point and scale it, scale it and move up. Then select this all, this two, except this one, okay? Understand? This both side. Then inset, inset option. Local nomen, sorry, by polygon, by polygon. Then we got this way. You see how much width you need. I feel like a little bit width I want to do, man. Sorry. One more time. Less. Less. Then manually, I'm going to scale it inside a little bit. Little bit inside. Correct? Then click on bridge. Bridge, bridge. Then select this one. Ah, so this one I can delete it. We got it. This you can make it piece by piece, one by one, one by one, we can create it. But we don't need. The top also, it is not the right. Convert to editable poly. This also is not the, so we delete it. You can see there is a hole over there. So first of all, you select this all. Scale to, so it can, sorry, scale to. Scale, you press one more time, so it comes straight, okay? Here also select it, scale to. So you can see there are some hole over there, right? Can you see this is a hole? It's not filled one. There is a modifier called 